about the size of a fridge. Hayabusa 2 is setting out on a six-year asteroid hunt in deep space. The $260 million spacecraft uses novel ion engines, a system which uses electricity to accelerate gas particles. That makes a jet which goes extremely fast at about 30 or 40 kilometers per second, although the mass of this gas is very, very low, but produces a little bit of a push in a very efficient way, and that's enough to really steer the spacecraft um, uh, along the orbit. And Hayabusa 2 has a long way to go, more than 5 billion kilometers. Two and a half years into the mission, the craft is expected to catch up with asteroid 1999 JU3. And once the craft arrives, it'll spend 18 months studying the asteroid. Experiments include dropping tiny rover robots onto the surface. The most ambitious part of the mission, though, involves firing a high-speed explosive bullet into the asteroid's crust. And it's going to produce a crater, and it's going to produce a, a puff of, of, of material, a, a kind of ejector, ejecting material out in, into space, which is going to be collected by these instruments. And uh, part, of most, part of that cloud is going to be brought back. Scientists say the rock from inside the asteroid will be less weathered by the space environment and by heat, and more likely to answer some fundamental questions about the universe and what gave rise to life on Earth. A previous Japanese mission managed to bring rock fragments from another asteroid back to Earth in 2010. That mission had some problems, but if Hayabusa 2 works as planned, it will return pristine asteroid samples to Earth in late 2020. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.